Acid. Is that morphine? It is. And a hose. Yeah, he was a... I'm getting the feeling he's a morphine kid. Hey, go have some morphine. Um, so, yeah. Boys and girls, I know a, some of your parents make you upset. And you know that some of your siblings have better relationships with your with your oh that scared me for a fucking minute there because I, I saw that in the light right there I thought those were shoes I'm like oh god and I step forward and I'm like oh god their legs oh god their legs oh god it's a pipe it's literally just a pipe and I'm freaking out over nothing um but yeah um Just don't don't stop talking to your family. Even if you don't like them, even if they don't like you, just keep in contact with someone. Cause becoming becoming what what Oscar did is no fate for anybody. What? Where am I? Oh, I'm in this room. Okay. Interesting. I'm just gonna assume that's a house settling and just be done with it. En Espanol! Ole! Offer of promotion. Dear Head cons Conservationist Greenbuyer. Due to your exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed bird operation and services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of Regional Conser Conservation Management Director, responsible for the operations through Northwestern Oregon. Your post would no longer be the Flintlock National Forest. Instead, you would work in the Regional Rant Management Office, located at 128 Bullhorn Road, where assistance would be sought in selecting a ranger to fill your former post. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We look very much forward to your reply. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. Uh, you didn't go back to the room. Uh, pulled the lever for. D did I not? I thought I did. Oh, yeah, because it was it was my bedroom. It, it was my bedroom. I'll show you. I think I got my mental map all accurate now. Um, right here. Right there. Duck. Room. There it is. That's the ghost hunter stuff. Back down we go. Alright. Oh, okay. Alright. And we go downstairs. And back where we were. That is something down there. That is a hidden note. Salon Josephine. Jan Greenbrier. Stylish Sherry. Shampoo set color per manicure. $119. I mean, that's normal, but like... I'm sure her husband would have been pissed if she... Uh, if, he, uh, if she was hiding that. Oh, alright. Read note. Hey Lonnie, sorry about my mom being such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since the for uh, her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you like you're not a member of, uh, of the family. She knows you, like, uh, she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry. 
Haha, uh -huh, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have an, a mom. Uh, you have to have a mom every day. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know, I shouldn't complain. No, I'm totally serious. My mom's a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So would you rather live with your mom in Florida? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting some strong feelings. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about you guys. Uh, anybody else? Bla-bla, bla-bla. Um, some strong feelings here. Uh, Alright. Close folder. Close it. Close it. Fine. Turn it on. Oof. Light. Anything else down here? Magazine. Tincture. Nice. Duck. Let's roll. There is a scrap of paper. It looks like a paper football, but I think it's more than that. Stub. Kink FM presents Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ooh, she went to Earth, Wind, and Fire? Ooh. It's pretty neat. Duck. Um, blay, 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 blay. <laughs> uh, read note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. It was like three bucks American. I love you. Merry Christmas. Miss you. L. P.S. Treasure it always. What? What skull? Was it? Oh, it was probably the green skull from out there. Come on, duck. Come on, duck. Duck. All right, let's keep going down this way. Duck. Survey for clues. This looks like a, a dining room. Name and note. Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car and anything but going from to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie's at the house. As the last word on the matter, get back on course. This won't have to happen again. Oof. Principal's office. Provide match it. Disturbing inappropriate materials. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. <laughs> Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. Oof. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Oh, that's rough. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church is still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. See, I was going to make that joke, but she beat me to it. Fuck me. Uh, Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of most important dead people, so you should come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull. 
Probably. Love, Katie. Oh, I'm glad they at least kept my, uh, my postcards. Ooh, there's something under there. Duck, get boxed. Mom's purse? I don't care what's in mom's purse. Manual Force Research and Education, uh, Takoma, Takoma, Country, County Forest Service, uh, the blah, blah. Um, read note. Hi, Jan, I got two tickets to Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears her ugly head again, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick. Rick, you better get away from my mama. You better get away from my mama or I'll cut you, Rick. My mama is happily, uh, unhappily married, but she is married. I'll, I'll fucking cut you, Rick. You and I are going to have some words, Rick. So, Mom went to Earth, Wind, and Fire. And hit it. Mom. Read letter. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, uh, Greenbrier, regional director. And I say congratulations. Be no, not again. No. Okay, everyone. I'm going to. Uh, I, I will be right back. Uh, I'm going to save and quit the menu and then begin again. Because hopefully that will fix the the uh, the, the dialogue thing. Because I, I ain't having any more of that. I don't. I want to not see this messy ass. Hand. There we go. And I say congratulations because come on, you're gonna take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss the little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast! But you sound like you're reading a lot into that innocent night out, right? You sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon. Love, Carol. Oh, Carol, you're such a card. Get a tissue on Carol. Oh, we have some gardens. Does this lead to the gardens? Nope, it leads to a empty closet. I, I mean empty, I mean. Nothing, no loot, no, uh, no juicy tidbits. Where's the duck? There's the duck. Um, what's over here? Oh, there's a crumpled up thing. Manuscript. Accidental warrior. Terrence Greenbrier. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh. <sighs> She's trying, and he's trying, I assume. It's just really... Come on. Carol knows that shit's going on. If Carol knows, so does the rest of the book club. Yeah, that leads back there. Okay, just across the hall then. Yeah, I was starting to think, where's the kitchen? There we go. Here's our kitchen. A la 1990-something. Pizza. Fuck you, pizza. Reputation. Helen Margaret to Richard Morris Pattermock. Sunday, the 4th of June, 1995, at half past 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunset Lutheran Church, Seaside, Oregon. Mr. and Mrs. John, presents a marriage of their daughter. What? Helen. Sam's schedule, work at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. 